we borrowed these snowshoes and went out onto the land. And as I said, to, this morning I'm looking down at where I was going to step out there in the snow and thinking, there you are, somebody's put down a nice big flat snowshoe. I'm going to aim for that. And then memories came back of renting this equipment and then going out onto the land and falling over on the snowshoes. <laughs> First time on the snowshoes. Oh, yeah. And the <laughs> snow was so deep that I couldn't get up because I didn't have poles. I just had couldn't this. Couldn't get purchased. Yeah. Couldn't get purchased. So I had to sit there and bang my feet around and take one off and bang the snow no, so that I could make a snow. landing pad. And stand up, and that was my first introduction to, to what I call real snow. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can remember looking down from the top of red, thinking, I'll never make it. I know I won't be able to turn there. No, 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 I couldn't possibly. I'm gonna die. But of course, I didn't. I have a very good friend, um, Al Fisher, who, when we lived in Vancouver, I used to do a lot of running, oh, that's and true. I would meet Al. It's a much better runner than I ever was. But I would meet him running around UBC Endowment Lands. And in the mornings, I worked at Wright's Engineers. He worked at Simon's Engineers. We would catch the bus from West Point Grey in the rain, in the dark, to downtown <laughs> Vancouver. And we'd sit on a bus and chat about running and skiing. Blah, blah, blah. And then one day I said to him, Well, Al, this is the last time I'm going to be on the bus with you. I leave on Friday, and we're going up into the interior to try our luck up there. Oh, yeah, what are you going to do? So I said, well, we're going to try and build a ski lodge in a little ski area up in the interior. <laughs> and, oh, really? Where's that? Because I'm from the interior, and I used to uh, do a lot of skiing, you know. N now I don't do much here in Vancouver, although I go up to Whistler and ski. So I said, oh, yeah, well, it, you'll never know it, Al. Well, tell me, it's in the Kootenays. It's a place called Red Mountain at Rossland. And Al turns to me and looks at me and says, I was born in Rossland. 